France has decided to rely on odd and even number plate schemes, notably in the Paris region, to curb traffic-related air pollution. Is it a good option? What else can be done to improve air quality in the long term? In Europe, um, there's a, many cities and urban areas have problems meeting the air quality limit values. Um, these are uh, limits for air pollution set by the European Union in conjunction with the World Health Organization. Um, and they are to protect human health. In terms of pollutants, particle emissions are one of the most dangerous um, and especially the very small particles um, emitted by road vehicles and particularly diesel road vehicles. So what most cities do is have a package of measures looking at um, different ways of reducing pollution from traffic, from industry, from heating. In terms of the short-term measures to reduce air pollution from traffic, an odd and even number uh, um, plate scheme may be effective over one or two days in terms of raising awareness, but if, if the measure goes on for longer, many families have two cars, so they will adjust which car they use, or people will buy a second older car. So it's very much not a case of either cleaner vehicles or traffic reduction, it's both. And doing both in a long-term sustainable way um, will have a better impact on air pollution in the longer term, some of the cities that have very good practice in, in, in their traffic and air pollution, you can look at London with a low emission zone. A low emission zone is a city or part of a city where the higher polluting vehicles are not allowed in. Um, and they have a congestion charge in the very centre of the city to regulate the emissions and the numbers of, of vehicles travelling in the city. Other good examples are Berlin, where they have a low emission zone. Stockholm and Gothenburg in Sweden both have low emission zones and congestion charging schemes. If you'd like to ask a question, go to the Euronews website or visit our social media pages.